Uh, thanks for having me, Sam. I uh, just want to go to the IPCR product real quick. It's uh, a product that's available on the iPad and also the PC as well. It's developed by paramedics for paramedics. Uh, let me just take a couple minutes to show you it real quick. Basically, this is the IPCR. This is the iPad version here. Everything's all password protected. Each a user has their own individual login. We offer CAD integrations. We have integrations with um, uh, monitors and billing software as well. We can write all those individually. Uh, shift setup information. We just put your crew information in here. Add your crew. They sign. And they're done for the remaining of their shift. They no longer have to put in their information on every single tag. Once you create, once you start your shift setup, you're ready to go. Enter a new PCR. If you have a CAD integration, that'll open up for you. Open it up. Enter the information as necessary. Work your way through the call. It works just like that. Times are super easy to enter. It'll calculate miles for you. And move on. We have a, a easy workflow. We start from the dispatch screen, patient information screen, HPI where we kind of tell a story, treatment where we enter all of our treatments, a disposition screen that tells the outcome, billing if you collect it, vital signs and assessment. We offer a patient lookup capability where if you have a name and a date of birth or a social security number and they're already in your system, it'll pull that patient's information into the system and all you do is verify that it's correct and move on. Or you can just enter a new patient each time Day of the birth, you can enter a weight. Pounds or kilograms are always displaying a kilogram weight to help you calculate it. Um, if you're dispatched to their patient's home address, all you do is hit yes and the information is already populated in there for you. Medical history, medications and allergies. There's a type of head drop down. You can just enter the information in there. Medications and allergies works the same way. HPI, this is the, where we kind of tell a story. We have several different tools here to kind of help you guide your way through the call. For instance, OPQRST. And you're done. You can type in a narrative. You can see it has spell check. Obviously, I'm not typing correctly. A treatment screen where you can add, delete, and uh, treatments or assessments or vital signs. You can delete them, you can remove them. We offer normal default values that are completely editable by you. For instance, I'll select oxygen. You can see that nasal cannula is selected. Nasal cannula is probably the most common that we use in the field, so it's already pre-selected for you. Enter a time. Who did it? Done, and it's in there for you. We can copy. A Treatments as well. If you already have it in there, no need to repeat the information. Just pull it up, change the time, hit copy, and it's in there. Change the time again, copy again, and now you have three entries all the same. Vital signs, assessment, all work the same way. You can copy assessments, you can copy vital signs, work your way across. Disposition, the outcome, the hospital they went to. Patient can sign, date it. We also offer a refusal of care screen to help the, the medics or EMTs document um, medical legal type stuff, where they offer treatment, you know, where they above 18, where they under the influence of alcohol. Just, just answer all those questions, have the patient sign. Have a witness sign, and you're good to go. We also offer a billing screen, patient information. You never have to repeat the information. If it's already in there, just select self, and the patient's information will get automatically populated in there for you. It'll also keep track of all your treatments so you can bill individually for you that way. That's in a nutshell, a quick overview of the PCR.